For more than 400 years, Jaipur has been known as a hub for that bling bling. The most intricate and exquisite jewellery you'll ever see, studded with the most dazzling jewels and gems like emeralds, rubies, sapphires and diamonds. Jaipur's gem and jewellery industry has an annual turnover of more than 400 million US dollars. I've decided to bling it up and add some real gems to my collection at one of the most popular markets in the city. Right now, I'm in any shopaholic's paradise, the Johari Bazaar in Jaipur, which literally translates to a jeweler's market. So I am ready to let myself lose because all the gems that I want to buy are going to be right here around me. So let's go crazy. Hello, Hi. sir. Hello. What is this? It's a marine. It's all natural. It's from pearls, garnets, manakes, amethyst, lapis lazuli. Oh my god, I can't decide what to get. They're all so pretty. Wait, should I get this? Oh my god, should I get this? Okay, Bhaiya. Yes, sir. Let's pack everything. Thank you. Wow, my bag is so heavy. And I've shot my heart out in this jewelry bazaar. I've got some cute, cheap things. But my appetite is not done. And I've heard there is a place where you get gems of legendary status. And trust me, the place itself looks like a royal walk in Tijoli or a museum or a crossover between the two. Wow, these are like really beautiful. Can I can I meet the owner? Hey, how's it going? My name is Samarth Kastriwal. I am part of the ninth generation at the Gem Palace. My family's been into jewelry for the last 300 years or so. I, along with my other three brothers, Siddharth, Samir, and Sarthak, are part of this generation. Samarth. Your gem palace is exquisite, it's beautiful, I'm blown away. I mean, the gems themselves are extremely beautiful. But so is this place, the way you've done it up. I can see so many things. Please tell me, how did you all begin? My family has actually been here for the last 170 years. Gem Palace was established in 1852. The history of the city is really intertwined with the history of my family because we were invited by Maharaja Jai Singh in 1727. And he wanted to make the city of culture and arts. Quick history brush up. Jaipur was founded by Maharaja Jai Singh II in 1727 and he was really into gems. So he called the best artisans from cities like Delhi, Agra and Varanasi to settle down in Jaipur. And the Kasliwal family is amongst the artisans who came here at the time. We've been very fortunate over the years to have uh, pretty much everyone who comes to Jaipur does make it a point to come to our place. Let me just actually show you some of the people who've been here. Here you can see a picture of Princess Diana with my uncle, Mr. Sudhir Kastriwal. Here you can see Prince Charles when he visited and here you can see during the 100th year anniversary of the Gem Palace which was in 1952. If you see here, we've had uh, many people who've come. Here is a picture of Goldie Horn. And maybe I will have a picture of this. <laughs> yeah, one day. yes, one day. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Jaipur is one of the largest stone cutting centers in the world and it is believed that around 150,000 people in Jaipur are involved in this industry. The gems are brought in from countries like Zambia, Brazil and Mexico and then the magic begins. Jaipur's stone cutters and skilled artisans are the reason why it's called the Gem City. Dolly, let me show you some of my favorite pieces here, which okay. have been made by my ancestors over the years. So, one of the first pieces is this one. This took us almost three years to make. This has almost 300 carats of diamonds. This is the Meena Kari at the back. It is what uh, Jaipur is known for. This one is all enamel. It's a gold parrot. Oh my god! Actually, you can add some wine from the top, comes off, 
and then mm. you can take this out and it becomes a chuski. So here I thought I'd show you something which is very special. This is a Navratna. What it does, it symbolizes all the planets in the solar system. Ah, the nine planets. Ruby symbolizes the sun. Sapphire symbolizes Saturn. Another thing we decided to do with this was very special to India is the back. We made the Taj Mahal at the back. Another piece I really wanted to show you is this piece. This has almost 1,500 rubies which have been cut and calibrated in graduation. You can see from the going all the way to the bottom. Yeah, I mean the minutest of rubies. Okay. Feels like I have something really important in my hand. <laughs> A lot of a dog. Die. <laughs> Speechless. Like these people who are making these are truly artists. And that is why Jaipur is known to be the best place for jewelry and gems. So baby, baby,